Rachel Rose, another fantastic women's competitor, frankly, competitor period, whose stock has really risen through 2020. It's gonna start off 2021, hopefully, on the right foot. She's been a part of New Texas from the beginning for her to be the queen of house Rose, to be that champion. You gotta think that's the only thing on her mind. Proper crowd for the queen. Did I just see you bend the knee? That wasn't me. Oh. It's just a little psychology there. Heather Monroe holding that corner, making making Rachel walk by her as she walks in the ring. She's got her back to her, not even worried about it. Let's see if that's cockiness or if that's a strategy that's going to pay off for her. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. These ladies are vicious, and they certainly know what's at stake. The winner of this match will move on for the opportunity to win the inaugural New Texas Pro Women's Championship. Well, uh -oh. Are they fighting over who gets their jacket taken off first? Looks like it. The referee is uh, in a bit of a pit. I mean, rock, paper, scissor? It's Isaac, you just got to make a choice here. You Friendliness or passive aggressiveness? Not quite sure. I think we can finally get started here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here on IWTV, the hottest new place to watch the best independent professional wrestling. I'm Chris Russo alongside Rex Andrews. And oh, by the way, Isaac doesn't know how to take a jacket off, Russo. I didn't know that was in a referee's job description, but clearly that is the <laughs> And now Heather. You know, these two women actually know each other quite well. They've wrestled, not only have they wrestled against each other dozen, I've been told two dozen times, but they've actually wrestled with each other in a women's tag team tournament. So they're actually quite familiar with one another. If you know someone as their partner and an opponent that many times, you have gotta know them from pillar to post. So here's my question to you, Rex, as we get started, finally for the semifinal match. You've wrestled an opponent a million and a half times. Okay. How do you, what do you pick? Do you, do you pick something new up each time? How do you, you know, how, how do you learn something new? How do you create something new against your opponent? I mean, 
talk to me. It's not like they're seeing each other for the first time. I think it's got to be a responsive thing. You just saw them there. It was a collar and elbow tie up. I think it's, you know, who's, they're both seeing what they're bringing to the table. You know, they know what they got, they know what their competitor has. So it's like, all right, what game are you going to play? And then I'm going to base my strategy off that. Right here is just good old fashioned wrestling with Rachel Rose coming up top. That's some skilled movement here, moving back and forth. This looks good. Cover. And this is where the uh, old school fan in me appreciates the idea that when pro wrestling is on the marquee of the building, when you walk in, that you're seeing really good tactical professional wrestling. That's right. These ladies are competing for a championship, and they recognize that. They're, they're treating it with some respect, and they're taking their time here, trying to find holes in the opponent's game. That's the way it should be done. Now, who's going to get the edge first is the real question. Who's going to make a mistake? And I think we just got an eye poke from Rachel. What? Right in front of Isaac as well here. This is just a... Frustration? And just a wash from the referee. I don't know if bringing the referee into this is, is going to be well, had helpful for any strategy. So, yeah, making decisions isn't what, it's what it should be good at. But anyways, <laughs> nonetheless, there's a, Heather's asking for a truce. They're, they're both agreeing to no eyes. Very anchorman-like of them. No hits above the, uh, the to the face. Obviously. That's oh. Nice takedown, and now Heather... Trying to take advantage. Lost the grip, but carried the momentum through on that one. Going for the rod on the head scissors. Mm. Here we go, picking it up. This is Heather's debut at New Texas Pro, but I mentioned not a stranger to Texas wrestling. And she's the reigning defending women's champion at Hurricane Pro out in Beaumont, Texas. I think she'd like nothing more than to be able to keep flying into Texas with not just one title, but hopefully two titles around her waist. I've heard that she's setting up a, uh, another home base here in Texas. And maybe win another championship, she's gonna buy that second house she's been looking at. Life and uh, living is expensive in California where she's at right now. She has really embraced the SoCal lifestyle, she said, but uh, she's also said the taxes aren't always the best over there. I don't know anything. I just live in Texas. Don't California my Texas, Russo. <laughs> <laughs> and the ladies now are going at it on the outside, which is very much appreciated here at this point, not letting the fight try to get away from them, but taking it to one another, wherever they may be. That's right. We got a momentum. Why would you let your opponent take a breather? Why would you let him get on the outside? Now, both competitors have to bring this back into the ring once they get that clear advantage. So both jockeying for position here. I think Heather Monroe is very deliberate with all her actions. She's been effective with all her movements. Mm. Rachel Rose has been really good about applying a strategy and getting a hold of a limb when she has an opportunity. Both girls really clearly demonstrating why they're contenders for that championship. Well, for good reason. You know, Heather Monroe, certainly very well-traveled, but also a student of the game, still continues to train work hard as a trainer at the Santino Brothers School, a very reputable wrestling school out in California. There you go, and Rachel Rose, a student at Booker T at Reality Wrestling here in Houston, Texas. Both girls with great resumes. This is a precarious situation. Uh-oh. Oof! It's a long way down, Russo. Very unpleasant for Heather Monroe, but that's the type of offense that we're used to from Rachel. You've seen Rachel in any of her other matches, especially here at New Texas, a cover. Covered up. Kicking out at one still after that de debilitating maneuver on the outside. She's still got a lot of fight left in her. Rachel, not only the queen of House Rose, but very, very much so a queen of the ring as far as using it as a weapon. You saw it on the outside. You're seeing it there on the turnbuckle. using everything to her advantage. 
A bit unscrupulous at times, but certainly advantageous. And now another cover by the queen. See, now she's got this advantage. She's been really vicious. She's been humbling Heather Monroe with this, this offense she's been putting on her. And I like to see it. Look, not letting her get to her feet before she put hands on her, making sure she's got that advantage. Now, she's pushing it, but obviously we've seen with the, the referee, she's got a little bit of leeway. Staying in the corners. I mentioned you know, a lot of Heather's accolades, but I, yes. it's absolutely worth noting that Rachel Rose undefeated here at New Texas Pro. Like I said, she's been here from the beginning. She's been a part of the team, and uh, she's really grown with the company. you got to think that her being so successful here is part of the reason this women's title is becoming into place. Going back to the well again. Do you Another think that's a good no. So we got a two count on that one. Heather's wearing down a little bit. Rachel also a champion, a reigning champion at RWR here in Houston, Texas. The Vixens champion. A lot of gold in the ring right now. It's that fight, it's that desire for more of it. And yet another cover here. World-class competitors here at New Texas Pro. That's the tenacity, that dogged fight right there by Heather, knowing what's at stake. Oh, there you go. That's that. Just going after her ability. It doesn't matter where she is in the ring. She's putting that offense on her. Yet another cover. Look at the leg. Almost a Now, Rex, is that considered a strong cover? You're hooking the leg, but you're laying the back on. I don't know. If, is that enough force and pressure? I don't think it is. And that's something, you know, I'd like to see Rachel move her offense out of the ropes, out of the corners, more to the center of the ring, because that's she's giving her opponent an opportunity to recover. Oh, there you the go. Spear. See, now right here, if we got that cover, Maybe taking too long. Stronger, stronger cover, but maybe, maybe to your point, Rex. Yeah. A little too long there on the gloating. Yeah, Rachel has the opportunity here. She's got the momentum on her side. Now she has to take advantage. Now Heather, look at her, still working to her feet. Just a gallant effort. She's just showing she's fearless. She's gutsy. She's pushing through this thing. We have like a cravat here. Oh boy, Rex, if there's one thing that you're very much well known for, it's submission holds like this. Wow, look at that. That's gotta be very, very painful. Looks like to the shoulder blades. Hurts the shoulder blades, pulls to the ribs, and it extends your lungs so it's difficult to breathe. When you can't catch your breath, you can't get the blood flow and you can't get momentum on your side. Smart of Heather not to give that opportunity to get too, too much damage in that hole. Now look at this flurry of offense. Sometimes desperation causes you to fight with aplomb, and we're seeing it right now, the desire from Heather. Both competitors going back and forth, momentum tottering side to side. Uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. Now for Kelly, Kelly might be knocked out. Oh my God, oh God! I don't think she's getting up for that one, Russo. Oh my gosh, cover by Heather! Ooh. Ring positioning, that's smart. That's knowing where you're at, looking for an opportunity out. She knew she didn't have enough power to kick out, but she can get a hand on that rope and stay in the fight. Both competitors have to be drained at this point, Russo. They've been putting in the work. They've been fighting back and forth. Look at this Here we roll go. up, nope. Oof. There we go, smart maneuver. Doesn't take a lot of energy to execute that kick. Oh my god. There gosh. we go, saved it for that one. Put the impact on her, here Big we go. Kick, another cover and another kick out for Heather. A stronger cover on that one, I think would have had Heather. That was a desperation kick out if I've ever seen one. You know, Rachel was actually telling us in the back, on top of the fact that she wants to carry more gold, there's actually this 
spitefulness that she has for actually the owner of New Texas Pro, Keeper Bartek. They've had their, well, I'm not going to go into detail, but they've had their kind of back and forth. And she'd love nothing more to win the title, but with a knee to the face like that from Heather, oh boy. Like Rachel already back to her feet after taking that knee. Right back to it. That's a lot of damage back to back. Is it enough? Wow. Both competitors giving everything they have here, pushing to stay in the game. Both ladies extremely defiant, not willing to give an inch. I think it really is 50 50 at this point. Nice snap suplex from Heather Monroe there. Is that enough? Kelly and Rachel might look like she's out. Cover now. I don't know how Rachel kicked out. I mean, really, it's just, at this point, how much is left in the tank for both of these women? Seems like Heather's given her everything she's got. She's trying to collect her thoughts and think about how can she end this thing most effectively, get the win, and move on to that championship fight. Look at that dead weight from Rachel Rose. Big implications for this match. And, and Heather's, I mean, perplexed at this point. It, Rachel might really be out. Oh, oh, going for the eyes. They had an agreement, Russo. What happened to the truce? They had an agreement. Claymore kick! Oh my gosh! Rachel now, again, this time, gets the win. I can't approve. Here is your winner, and moving on to the finals, Rachel Rose. Rex, when it was all said and done, it was the truce, the breaking of the truce. I got to be honest with you. I, I, I take that personally. That's You had an agreement. You shook hands, and you broke the truce. You had to go to the eyes. Look, both competitors gave it all they had. It was a valiant effort from Rachel Rose. You want to, oh, hold on a second. You want to talk about charlatan. I mean, that's as low of a move as you're going to get. But you don't make friends on your way to the top. And if Rachel now, one more step to go in her effort, her desire, to become the first ever New Texas Pro Women's Champion. She's got bad karma on her side. 